quadratic equation for side length of a triangle. We're at 4.7c with 14 previous videos that are in the geometry playlist in the description. A quadratic equation is an equation that can be written in this form. We have ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. And we can solve quadratic equations to find the length of a side of a triangle, or we can use factoring. We need to check each of our solutions. The value of x cannot be negative because the length of a side cannot be negative. So take a look at this diagram here. It's given that triangle ABC is isosceles, with the orange segment AB is congruent to the pink segment AC. We need to solve for x. Well, if x squared minus 5x is the length of this side, and it's congruent to 6, the length of that side, we can set them to equal each other, can't we? We set x squared minus 5x equal to 6 to get x squared minus 5x equals 6. We rewrite the quadratic equation by subtracting 6 from both sides of the equal sign. So we want to set it to equal 0, so we take this 6 away from both sides, then after the equal sign we'll have a 0, and now we've got x squared minus 5x minus 6. We solve for x. So the first method would be factoring. And if you don't remember how to factor these, you can check the description for the link to Algebra 1, Chapter 13, and you can get a quick review of how to do that. So to factor this quadratic equation, we set it as x minus 6 times x plus 1 equals 0. Then we set each factor to equal 0. So we've got x minus 6 equals 0 and x plus 1 equals 0. And we solve for x. We add 6 to both sides to make a 0 pair here. We have x equals a positive 6. We do a minus 1 on both sides to get rid of this and make a 0 pair. And we have x equals negative 1. Okay? So x equals 6 or x equals negative 1. Now, method 2 would be the quadratic formula, which is also in chapter 13 if you need a review on that. So this was our equation, x squared minus 5x minus 6 equals 0. And we're going to substitute those values into the quadratic formula. So this is a. There's an invisible 1 here, isn't there? And b would be a negative 5. c would be a negative 6. Substituting these values in, we've got a 1 for a, don't we? So we're going to have a negative b, which means we have a negative negative 5. See? This is already negative. So when we put b in as a negative 5, we've got negative negative 5. That's going to be a positive 5 because there's like an invisible 1 next to that parentheses. Okay? Then, underneath the radical sign, we've got b squared, which means we have negative 5 squared. Then, we subtract 4 times a, which is the 1, and c, which is the negative 6. And the whole thing is over 2 times a, which would be 2 times 1, wouldn't it? Okay, so negative 1, negative one times negative 5 is going to give us that positive 5 right here, and it's plus or minus the square root of a positive 25, because negative 5 times negative 5 is positive 25, right? Then, remember, PEMDAS, we need to multiply and divide before we add or subtract, so we need to do this side of the this minus sign first. So we have negative 4 times 1, so that's negative 4, and it's times negative 6, which gives us a positive 24. Negative 4 times negative 6 is positive 24. So remember, the term takes the sign with it, okay? That means we've got 5 plus or minus the square root of 49 divided by 2. Square root of 49 is 7, which means we have 5 plus or minus 7 divided by 2, which means if we do the plus, it's 12 divided by 2. If we do minus, 5 minus 7 is a negative 2. We have a negative 1. And we can check each solution. For x equals 6, we put a 6 wherever the x is. We get 36 minus 30, which is 6. Yep, that works. 6 equals 6. For x equals negative 1, we put a negative 1 wherever the x is. And negative 1 times negative 1 is a positive 1. And negative 5 times negative 1 is a positive 5, so we have 1 plus 5. That's a 6. So yes, that worked. We have two good solutions x can be either 6 or negative 1, okay? So 
watch the chapter 13 algebra 1 videos if that will help you because it may have been a while since you've seen it all right our next lesson is going to be coordinate proof and figures in the coordinate plane that's lesson 4.8 so i hope this was a good review for you for the quadratic formula and quadratic equations and we're going to move on to 4.8 and i hope i'll see you there have a great day hit the like button bye